Sunday. I have started on the back floor. Um, took the brace off. This is what's left of the brace. I'm going to remit, fix and make my own. So I'll do all down there. All up there. All of this is part of the floor. At the moment I'm just cleaning up this section here. Where the brace sits. If I want to see what metal has got to be removed and what metal is staying. But most of this will be staying. I'm just cleaning it up now. It's only rotten up to here. So it will be getting cut across here. I am going to make this meet the front in a bigger piece. Um, even my door shuts properly now. This one. <laughs> my only door that shuts properly. That one when you open it drops. But that won't be doing that for much longer. So I'll be back with you when I start it in some more. Right. I've got this bit. Out to there, this bit will be going back in, but that is why. Actually, I might just make a new one. That is why I had to get in there. Because look, look at all of this just sitting in here. I couldn't just leave that like that. You can see it all in there. I want them spot welds here. Uh, yeah, so that's why I had to go in there to get all of this out from here so it don't cause any rot and after all I've done it to the other side so it's best if I do both but other than that in here is solid there's no rot in here so that's good I'm just going to clean it all out in here we'll get rust treated and painted and then obviously wax oiled through these holes and stuff but I just wanted to go in there get that sorted for peace of mind all up the corner there doesn't look too bad all this is solid just got to uh, do some repairs in here and that little bit of lip there and then I can build the floor so that's what I've done so far and I'll be back with you another more I'm currently building the back floor Getting that in there, one whole piece, right up there to where the seat goes. So that's the rear panel being built. So it's pretty much got a back floor now. I've just got to do all the shaping. That's me welding it in currently. And then I'm going to do some trimming. Back floor being currently made as one sheet. has been sorted all the rust is gone I've treated all the rust grinded it all off and I'm just working on these bits I'll be back with you shortly hi everyone this is the uh, rear floor pan all welded in I've just got to make that little section there because when I made the old piece because as you know as I said this is a full piece oh yeah had a bit of a tight spot there so I've had to slit it so I can push it down but if you look in the middle the chassis rail runs up for the middle so all I gotta do is just drill all the spot holes I even started making the bit that the seat goes onto I just gotta finish shaping that and straighten it out a little bit all up here I've butt welded it into the existing floor lip as, uh, as I showed you in was it the last video there's a little bit of rot there so I've left a little bit of metal here on the floor so I can fold that over and weld it round for strength and then 
when I go underneath I'll cut this little section out and this will be the new lip for the top but that's all I've got to do on that side had a little bit of a blow through there obviously that was a little bit thinner I haven't cleaned all the splash off yet but that's it I can't do any more now until I get paid because I've run out of uh, cutting discs and welding wire so this will be the last video for a while so that's why I wanted to upload this one for you so you can get a gist of what I've been doing the rear floor here slopes down like it's meant to because obviously I didn't cut all the old stuff out until the new floor was in that I built that line there is the chassis rail going all the way up to here and Oops, and then skid in. This is the bit that I cut out so I can clean all in there. That'll go back. I knew when I go on there, that'll line up with this floor here. So if I was to clean this up and put it back in, I would just trim the end here and weld it to that. But as you can see, it's got the slope that runs down, that the strengthener runs across. So all there's done. I've literally just got to clean all this. I just can't be bothered tonight now. I've had enough for now. So once I've done this, passenger side done. I've just got to go around cleaning things up, a few touch-ups, a bit here and a bit there. You know, as you, you know what you do afterwards. I've got to grind. Yeah, so spot welds up there, clean all the welds up, put the bracing, put this bracing once I've started repairing them, pleat this bit here. Yeah, when I was uh, shaping the floors using my jack, I've still got more tapping to do here because it's supposed to be like a little little square section here with the drain hole and a drain hole over there if I believe right that's where the seat goes which I've made I've just got to finish straightening it up a little bit around the edges drill the hole um, the door shuts properly it's all strong like I said, I was shaping the floor with the jack and the whole car lifted up and the back wheel come off the ground. So yeah, do some grinding, do that little bit there, grind it all down, go around it again to make sure I've got all the um, pin holes. But I've run out of materials now. I need to get um, some decent flat discs. Because the ones I've been getting is a pack for like 10 quid. I'm going to just spend £6 on one or two. One. They're about six quid each. But they look like they've got resin in them as well. So they look like really good flat discs. So instead of using the cheaper ones, I'll get the good ones. I'll get a 40 grit for grinding it. And then finish it off with an 80 grit. And then seam seal. It's got to be seam sealed. Paint the whole floor black with the, with the stuff I use, and then start repairing the cross members. <coughs> um, right, I've decided. I don't care if anyone hates me because at the end of the day, it's my car, and I've learnt a lot from doing this side. I have decided because I'm not waiting five, five four or five months for a floor pan. I'm building the um, driver's side myself and it will only cost me 67, 60 something pounds to build only this time I will start from the back using one sheet and I'll work my way all the way up as much as I can to the foot well up there so I will just make it out of one sheet myself not like I've done this one even though this one's strong I'll do the other one a bit different because I've learned a lot from this side so that's what I'm doing. Um, so 
once I finish this side, I'm moving on to the driver's side. I'm not wasting no time. So, yep, just wanted to show you. Let me stand up. That's the floor pan. I can snap, it's strong. I've just got a lot of grinding to do now. Put some spot welds all up there to the back, and I think the back has two of these as well. So I think one just after the brace. One will go here, one will go up the back there. Drain hole, drain hole, like that. Not that I need them because it's only if your car ever gets flooded. If it got flooded, I'd just drill a hole in the floor. <laughs> um, but I'm going to put them in anyway. So up the back here is done. All I've got to do is remake one of these. Put that back in there once I've treated all in there, like that. And it will go up to here across. How big them welds are. Add a little bit of blow through here. So I have to like turn the welder up. It's all seam sealed. Oh, seam sealed. Seam welded all the way around. Just got to grind them clean. Flat, but like I said, I'm going to get a 40 grit and an 80 grit flat disc. So that's it. Just a little video. I've got to wait now until I get paid because I, I, I can't do no more now. I really could have done with the flap discs. So I'm going to move on with this. And then on payday I'm going to go and get the metal. And I'm going to build that side. That's the excuse of the mess. It's all the bits of metal I need to repair. And my toolbox. So that side will be getting done as well. So in here is pretty much getting there once I've done what I said about this floor this this passenger side's done other than a little hole in the well arch like I repair there and some work up on the top there even though it's rusty it's still strong but I might just cut these out and put new pieces in same on that side there so you're gonna see a lot of work being done to the driver's side as well so please donate me for not buying the floor pan it's just that I'm not waiting months and months and months and paying 219 quid when I can build that side for, for around 60 odd quid. Only because, like I said, because I've learnt on this side, I will do that in a bigger sheet. Yes, it's time consuming, but it's worth it in the long run. I just wish that I'd listened to some of my subscribers who just started from the back here and built it all up to the top there. But you live and learn. That side's strong. I could, you know, I'll paint that, that's done, but I'll learn and do it on that side, because from what I've learned. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. I hope you uh, like what I've done so far, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.